एवरी वन माई सेल्फ इद्रीज भट्ट आई एम अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ बी एस सी ऑनर्स एग्रीकल्चर आई एम हेयर टू बींग अ प्रेजेंट माई प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ प्रोडक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ पियर एज यू कैन सी सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द प्रजेंटेशन आई एम थैंकफुल टू अवर कोर्स इंस्ट्रक्टर डॉक्टर प्रशांत बख्शी हु गेव अस सच अ ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड हु टॉट अस वेरी वेल by putting all his hard work on this tough time which benefited us a lot so let's begin with the presentation so these are the contents which including all the sub topics now let's begin with the introduction pyrus cominis known as the european pear or common pear is a species of pear native to central and eastern europe and southwest asia pear is next only to apple in importance acreage production and varietals diversity among temperate fruits in india it is grown under temperate and subtropical conditions because of its wider climatic and soil adaptability it is primarily grown in hills at 1700 to 2400 meter above mean sea level in the states of himachal pradesh jnk and uttar pradesh low chilling pears have adapted very well in the subtropical regions now origin and distribution The genus Pyrus has probably originated in the mountainous regions of western Asia. The first scientist Vavilov in 1951 proposed three center of origin centers of diversity for the cultivated pears. First one is Chinese center, second is Central Asiatic center, third one is Near Eastern center. After that Zivan and Zukovsky In 1975 have proposed the four center of diversity as European Siberian center. Now taxonomy. All pear cultivars belong to the genus Pyrus, subfamily Pomedia, family Rosacea and order Roseales. Chromosome number is 17. Twenty thirty twenty equal to thirty four. Rarely fifty one or sixty eight. Composition and uses. In pear water contains eighty three percent starch and cellulose are the main carbohydrates found in the pear fruit. In ripened fruits, reducing sugar constitute about seventy percent of total carbohydrates present. Fructose, glucose, sucrose, protein. Fructose is 6.5% to 11.2%, glucose 0.5% to 3.5%, sucrose 0.1% to 2.4%. In fruits, juice protein is 0.6%. Amino acids: aspartame 57%, aspartic acid 17%, glutamic acid 8%. Organic acids: malic and citric acids are most predominant. Vitamins A, sixty, I, U, spread. Minerals: calcium, eight milligram, hundred gram of fruits pulp. Phosphorus is fifteen gram. Sulfur, fourteen gram. And it is a rich source of pectins and tannins. Now uses: pear fruits can be used in the preparation of several delicious products such as pear jam, pear chutney. pear juice canned pear and wine making also patharnak and kefir varieties are considered good for canning fruits can be consumed by diabetic patients because of low sugar content it also maintains acid base balance in human body now climate and soil requirements Pear can be grown in a wide range of climate conditions as it can tolerate as low as minus twenty six degree Celsius temperature when dormant and as high as forty five degree Celsius during growing period. A large number of pear cultivar requires about 
ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड चार बिलो सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस ड्यूरिंग विंटर टू कम्प्लीट दियर चिलिंग रिक्वायरमेंट टू फ्लावर एंड फ्रूट सेटिसफैक्ट्री सिप्रिंग फ्रॉस्ट आर डेट्रीमेंटल टू पियर प्रोडक्शन एंड टेम्परेचर एट माइनस थ्री पॉइंट थ्री डिग्री सेल्सियस आर बिलो किल्स द ओपन ब्लॉजम देर फोर लव लैंड शुड बी अवॉइडेड फॉर इट्स प्लांटिंग द हेल प्रोन एरियाज आर ऑल्सो अनस्टेबल एज हेल स्टॉम एफेक्ट बोथ प्लांट्स एंड फ्रूट्स सॉयल पियर ग्रोज बेस्ट इन डीप वेल ड्रेन फर्टाइल मीडियम टेक्स्चर एंड रिलेटिवली मोर क्ले सॉयल इट इज मोर टॉलरेंट टू वेट सॉयल्स बट लेस टॉलरेट टू ड्रॉड दैन एप्पल A soil depth 180 cm is ideal for proper root growth and fruits production. Plants growing on deeper soils give about twice the yield than those in shallow soils. A neutral pH range of 6 to 7.5 is desirable. Iron deficiency appears on highly alkaline soils. The highly fertile soils rich in nitrogen are not very stable for growing as the incidence of pear sila and fire blight is more in these soils an annual rainfall of 100 to 125 cm meter is considered adequate now varieties first one is bartlett the leading pear variety both commercially and for home use It is an outstanding canning variety normally large smooth attractive fruit that is golden yellow slightly blushed with red the flesh is tender and juicy buttery and of excellent dessert quality trees bear young and have compact upright growth second one is kefir medium to large fruit is yellow with a red blush white flesh is crisp and coarse bears very late low chilling requirement excellent for cooking and canning stores well ripens early september to mid october third one is sickle fruit is small reddish brown over yellow with russet flesh is white and sweet excellent dessert pear low chilling requirement does not cross pollinize with bartlett good resistance to fire blight ripens late august to mid september Now fourth one is D Anjo leading variety of winter pear fruit is firm juicy and has superbly rich flavor outstanding for both home and orchard trade flavor best after one or two months storage excellent keeping qualities tree is large vigorous and very productivity fifth one is D Anjo red D Anjo spore that comes on with a deep red surface that gets even brighter red after it comes out of storage and ripens flesh coloring texture and flavor are identical to d anjo ripens mid august to mid september now propagation the pear plants are raised both by budding and grafting on pear suckers and canth seedlings Of the various methods of grafting, tongue grafting and cleft grafting are the most common for pear propagation. When the scoin and stalk are of equal thickness, tongue grafting can be successfully employed. Whereas when stalk is thicker than scoin, cleft grafting is practiced. Tongue and cleft grafting is practiced during December to January when the plants are still dormant. Budding is also practiced from May to July. Pear plants can also be propagated through hardwood cuttings. Now training and pruning. Proper training and pruning of pear trees is essential for the development of strong framework to maintain vigor and growth. Separate the fruiting area uniformly, secure fruits of good size and quality, encourage regular bearing and to provide convenience of spraying and harvesting. Pear trees are usually trained according to modified central ladder system. In this method, four or five well-spaced limbs are developed during initial three to four years, and then the ladder is headed off. In the first year, plants are headed back at 90 cm. The lowest branch is allowed to develop at a height of 60 cm from the ground level. Four or five primary. scaffold branches arising at wider angle well spaced 10 to 15 cm apart and spirally arranged around the tree trunk are selected 
टू टू थ्री सैकेंडरी ब्रांचेज आर सिलेक्टेड ऑन द प्राइमरी स्कैफोल्ड ड्यूरिंग सैकेंड डॉर्मेंट प्रोनिंग मैन्यूरिंग एंड फर्टिलाइजेशन इन हिल्स द रिकमेंडेड डोज फॉर टेन ईयर ओल्ड प्लांट इज सिक्सटी टू हंड्रेड के जी फार्म यार्ड मैन्यूर सेवन हंड्रेड ग्राम नाइट्रोजन थ्री फिफ्टी ग्राम फॉस्फोरस एंड सेवन हंड्रेड ग्राम पोटेशियम द फार्म यार्ड मैन्यूर फॉस्फोरस एंड पोटेशियम आर अप्लाइड बिफोर स्नोफॉल इन दिसंबर हाफ ऑफ नाइट्रोजन इज एडेड थ्री वीक्स बिफोर फ्लावरिंग एंड द रेस्ट हाफ जस्ट आफ्टर फ्रूट सेट द डेफिशेंसी ऑफ सिंक एंड आयरन ऑन यंग फोलिएज कैन बी कंट्रोल्ड ईजली बाई स्प्रेइंग जीरो पॉइंट फोर टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट जिंक सल्फेट एंड फेरस सल्फेट रेस्पेक्टिवली ड्यूरिंग अप्रेल नव इरीगेशन ए मेजर पोर्सन ऑफ फाइन रूट्स आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन टॉप सिक्सटी टू नाइन्टी सेंटीमीटर सॉइल डेप्थ A decrease in fruit growth is common when the top 90 to 120 cm soil under the tree is depleted 50% of available moisture. One irrigation after compost and fertilizers application in the last week of January. Another copious irrigation may be given before flowering so that sufficient soil moisture is available throughout flowering. Regular irrigation at 7 to 10 days interval during April to August as per need. After harvest tree may be irrigated at 3 to 4 weeks interval till they reach leaf shedding stage no need of irrigation during december and january now flowering and fruiting the flowers are epigynous and the ovary is inferior the type of inflorescence in pear is corium the flowering starts in the last week of february and continues up to third week of march calyx persistent or rarely deciduous stamens 1520 three types of trees were observed in pear self fruitful self unfruitful partially self fruitful self fruitful the pear cultivars grown in the plains of north india are self fruitful or partially self fruitful patharnak which occupies about 90% of the areas under pear in the punjab usually give commercial crop when planted in solid blocks for example bure hardy and flemish beauty are self fruitful now self unfruitful leconte magnus and winter nellis are self unfruitful in general planting of every fourth tree in every fourth row as pollinizer in educate in these cultivars third one is partially self fruitful bar Bartlett and Anjo are virtually self sterile but they behave as self fruitful under certain conditions because of the production of parthenocorpic fruits the extent of self fruitfulness is determined by the location season and tree vigor parthenocorpic fruits are more prone to pre harvest drop than the seeded fruits now pollinizers which helps in pollination honey bees usually prefer flowers of other plants to those of pears this is due to fact that pear flowers provide a relatively small quantity of nectar which is low in sugar content in general planting of every fourth tree in every fourth row as pollinizer is adequate in addition 2 to 3 bee colonies per hectare are sufficient for obtaining higher yield now harvesting Pear fruits exhibit a typical climatic pattern of respiration. Fully mature pear fruits are harvested while still firm and green for canning and distant market. But for local market they are picked at a slightly later stage. Immature fruits on picking do not attain full size, lack sweetness and flavor, shrivel quickly in storage and susceptible to storage scald. Pear fruits are plucked individually by giving a gentle twist rather than direct pull. Two or three pickings at an interval of 3 to 4 days are better than single picking. In order to avoid bruising and stock damage, the fruits need careful handling during the harvest. Determination of fruit maturity is very important for successful pear growing, which is a definite period. 
between the final stages of fruit growth and commencement of ripening the fruits are picked in this period depending upon the ultimate use now insects and pests pear sila the amphid like insects suck the sap from the leaves and produce large sticky drops of honeydew that can coat the tree and fruit heavy infestations can cause premature leaf drop weaken fruit buds and reduce shoot growth one can reduce excessive tree vigor by limiting nitrogen applications and reduce sila numbers by summer pruning to control this pest spraying of endosulfan 0.2% or methyl dimethyl 0.25% about 3 weeks after petal fall is recommended in several infestation repeat spray is essential diseases fire blight this is a common and very destructive bacterial disease of pears twig blight starts at the growing tips of shoots and moves down into older portion of the twig blighted twigs first appear water soaked and then turn dark brown or black pruning of fire blight cankers and blighted twigs should be done during dormant season avoid use of excessive nitrogen fertilizer heavy pruning and irrigation during bloom spraying of body ex mixture or other copper fungicide several times as blossoms open can reduce new infections